Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Dress Gaming. I'm your host Richard and today we are back with Lessons in VGC brought to you by the Experience Share Podcast. Experience Share Podcast. We'll share our experience with ya. I don't think that's the actual tagline. I don't even know if they actually have one. I should have probably checked that. Let's check it now, shall we? Look at this. Look at this uh, product placement here. Um, but no, I, I'm glad the Experience Share podcast uh, promotes this channel. Look, there's our video right there. Look at that little Charizard crying away because he's going to die. Um, yeah. Uh, the home of Shorts podcast, the comfy source for Pokemon battle information that's easy wear coming to a Poke Gear near you. That is their tagline. I think mine was better. We'll share our experience with you. Quick and easy. Like that. <laughs> um, if you... Uh, uh, should I do it? Should I? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. You guys should... If you want them... If you want them to s seriously consider... We'll share our experience with you as a tagline. You should tweet at them. Tweet at... It, it's at... EXP underscore share. Uh, and then hashtag... We'll share our experience with you. Do that and I'm sure that will give them a little giggle. <laughs> but anyway, we are finally here at the end of our journey through the elements of weather. We've we've uh, went through the the rain, the rain, the monsoons. We lasted through the droughts that followed. We actually that was a sandstorm. After that, we went through a sandstorm. I can't even remember. That's how much this weather has affected our brain. All right, but today we are going to be covering our hail team. Now, for those of you who didn't watch the Experience Share podcast where they covered hail teams, shame on you. Go watch it right meow. But otherwise, um, for, uh, hail is one of those weird ones that's kind of like sun um, where they don't really have any Pokemon to take advantage of the hail. Uh, there's some Pokemon with, like, ice body, but I don't even think there's too many of those that are in VGC right now, to be honest. Um, because I know off the top of my head, like Walrain and uh, Dugong get it, but they're both out of VGC. Uh, Avalug gets it, but Avalug's terrible. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything that gets Ice Body that's in VGC. Maybe Glaceon. I'm not sure on Glaceon. Oh, I should have put Glaceon on the team. Spoilers: There's no Glaceon on the team. But uh, what really works uh to save Trick Room or not Trick Room? Hail is Trick Room. Uh, so this is kind of a mix of a Hail Trick Room team. Uh, so let's just dive into it. So first we have the only Pokemon that can set up Hail with an ability. Uh, you can, of course, use Hail if you want. But this that is Mega Abomasnow and Normal Abomasnow does this, does this as well. So we've got the Abomasnight on Biden, our Abomasnow, with Snow Warning. And then it's got Blizzard. Earthquake, Protect, and Seed Bomb. I am running a mixed uh, Mega Bomb of Snow because I'm dumb. And I just like Earthquake and Seed Bomb. So get over it. I don't think a Bomb of Snow gets Giga Drain. Let me check. Giga. Giga Drain. Focus Blast. Grass Knot. Um, wood Hammer. Uh, grass Whistle. Giga Impact. I know it's pronounced Giga. But I like saying Giga. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Anyway. Blizzard Earthquake Protect Seed Bomb. Protect for if you want to lead with a bomb of snow, then you can protect when uh, got, uh, when we're getting Trick Room up. But uh, we d <clears throat> excuse me, we do run a specially defensive one. Uh, 252 in special defense. 252 in HP. 4 in attack. Uh, plus special defense minus speed nature. And zero EVs and speed. This is important for Trick Room. You want to be slow as you can get. Slower than slow. So then you become faster than fast. When we set up Trick Room with our Gothitelle named Lady, because I am original. Um, our Gothitelle is holding Citrus Berry. Has the ability Shadow Tag, which is kind of, it's really fun to control who you're going to be battling. Um, so you can switch out. And then we're running Trick Room, Protect, Psy, Shock, and Dark Pulse. Um, Dark Pulse kind of for like Chandelures. That want to be cheeky and come on in. Psy Shock for Stab. Trick Room. And then Protect if we want to try and save Rogothitelle to set up another Trick Room. That kind of stuff. Um, and this is also a special defensive one. Uh, almost has the same EV spread as a Bomb of Snow, but actually four in special attack instead of uh, instead of attack. I think. Yeah, he had a four in attack. Um, 
And this one, I was actually going to run Speed Trick Room with Gengar. Uh, I was actually going to run Gengar, but I decided not to be too uh, fancy. Just run Gothitel. Gothitel's are nice, nice even ground Trick Room, or it can take hits and can set up Trick Room. Um, but people know that it's doing that, so that's kind of a thing. But uh, I figured maybe we'll do like just a straight Trick Room at some point. And do do Gengar in that one. We'll see. We'll see. We'll try it out, maybe. And then, of course, we want somebody else that can use Trick Room well, and that is Conkelder. Did I use zero EVs in this one? I did. I probably shouldn't have done that. But we're doing it. Um, Conkelder. Uh, this time we're bringing our male Conkelder, who actually doesn't have a nickname. Uh, I usually I nickname him Moses, but what are you going to do? Uh, so Conkelder, Flame Orb this time, because we're getting smart with Guts. Detect, Mock Punch, Strain, Punch, Rock, Slide. That's the typical Conkelder set you're going to be seeing, especially Trick Room. Um, I stole this set from last year's Worlds. That's when I really fell in love with VGC and Trick Room and Conkelder. I really hated Conkelder until I watched the Worlds VGC last year. 2013, not 2014. <coughs> Excuse me. And Conkelder's put in that work, and it's crazy. It's crazy. I thought it was a big, dumb nose face earlier, but or before that, but now I love him. So we got our bulky physical sweeper, uh, but a brave nature instead of adamant because we want to be slow. Zero e IVs and speed, but we got 252 HP, 252 attack for special defense. And then be, um, I'm gonna do our finish off with our last trick rumor here. We got Agron because I never see Agron. Why not, huh? Probably because he's four times weak to fighting, but we brought Agron anyway. Um, we're going to have leftovers on this A-ground with Sturdy, Aerial Ace, Earthquake, Head Smash, Iron Head. So even if he gets hit by a one-shot move, he's going to uh, survive with Sturdy and hopefully you get the Trick Room up that turn. So then we can turn around and start knocking things out. That's going to uh, problem prob problemize us. So we got 252 HP, 252 attack, 4 special defense, Brave Nature. Same thing as uh, Conkelder, 0 IVs in speed. And then, of course, we need two things that are going to last outside Trick Room and kind of round off this team. Uh, as you can see, we have a Flying Weakness and two Pokemon. <coughs> Excuse me. We got Fairy Weakness and Conkelder. Uh, so that's kind of what A-Ground's here for. Uh, fighting Weakness and two Pokemon. Uh, fire Weakness and technically one. It's uh, it's neutral to A-Ground. Uh, dark Weakness with Gothitelle. Although that's kind of covered with Conkelder. You just kind of have to look at your weaknesses, kind of fill them out. So I brought in uh, uh, Salamence, who is actually for fire types mostly. It blocks off, and I mean, it adds another fairy weakness, but that's what we got Agron for. So brought in Slash, the Salamence, Choice Scarf with Intimidate, and I actually made a special Salamence. So we don't have to worry about getting intimidated too often here. We got Hydro Pump, Draco Meteor, Flamethrower, and Dragon Pulse. Um, uh, what's his name? Hydreigon probably would have been a better choice because I think Hydreigon is. I'm actually I'm pretty sure Hydreigon has a much higher special attack stat than uh than good old good old Salamence here. Because what Salamence has 110. Let's look up Hydreigon. Hydreigon. Well, I can't spell it, apparently. Hydreigon has 125, so that's like 15 more. Whoops. Oh, did I just hit caps lock? All right. 15 more in special attack, but what are you going to do? Uh, so for... Come on. Change back to Salamence. Change back to Salamence. And then for EVs, we have a Timid Nature with 252 attack, 4 in special defense, and 252 in speed. Um, just kind of for something, if we can't set up Trick Room right away, just to kind of get rid of some threats, hopefully. And then we have Zeus, the Zapdos. Um, he's kind of there to cover the any of the flying weaknesses with, like, uh, Conkelder and Obama Snow. Um, we have Hidden Power Fighting to hit Rock types, that kind of stuff. So our Zapdos is carrying Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Roost, and Hidden Power Fighting, like I said. Has Safety Goggles. Um, this is something I've neglected. I didn't use in the Sand Team for some reason. But Safety Goggles allows it so you, that they don't get hit by uh, weather-related damage and powder moves. So uh, Spore, 
uh, stun spore, uh, sleep powder, and something else. Uh, poison powder, that kind of stuff. Won't hurt it as well as hail and uh, sandstorm. And then we have 252 in HP, 252 special attack, 4 in special defense, and a modest nature. So hopefully those guys can help us kind of set up this trick room, get us going. And we are going to get a battle here in just a moment. Alright guys, today we have our battle against iPoke Shuckles. I will, uh, he is a YouTuber. Uh, he also does VGC stuff. He does a VGC laddering series on his channel. So I'll link both his Twitter and his YouTube channel in the description below. But today we got to focus on what's in front of us as per usual. So we got a Kangaskhan, an Aronim Heat, and a Mammal Swine, and a Smeargle. That are all going to be weak to Conkeldur. So Conkeldur is definitely coming. Um, Rotom, he's not weak to King Keller. Well, he's weak to Rock Slide, I guess. Um, we're gonna want to bring Salamence to kind of stop that Rotom Heat from attacking us. Uh, because we can attack back. What else do we want to look at here? Gothitelle, Bomb of Snow for show. So let's go. Goth, Conk, a Bomb. No, wait, 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 wait. Go back. Gothitelle, Salamence, King Keller. Obamasome. So he's leading off the Kangaskhan Smeargle, unfortunately. So I am expecting probably a Dark Void or maybe a Transform into the Kangaskhan. So I'm going to Trick Room right away. And then we're going to go for Draco on the Kanga. It does Mega Evolve. Fake Out on the Gothitelle. Draco Meteor does almost half to Mega Kanga. And then Dark Void uh, actually missed both of us, I think. Yeah, missed both of us. Um, what happened to Smeargle? Smeargle has Moody. Okay, okay. I see what's going on over here. So we didn't get Trick Room off. So I'm going to go for it again. And... Uh, Salamence. I'm going to switch out into Conkeldur. Uh, hopefully the Dark Void isn't going to work again. Because I would cry. Well, I wouldn't cry. We just have to figure out what to do with it. I mean, the Kangaskhan's already got uh, minus attack. So we can just keep switching in on the Kanga. Conkeldur goes to sleep. Gothitelle doesn't. Double Edge won't take us out. So we'll get the Trick Room off. Which will be nice. Um, and then I guess Accuracy on Smeargle went up. So we can Dark Void again. But I'm going to actually Dark Pulse at Smeargle. Get it... Get it going. Get it, get it, girl. And we're going to switch into Salamence. Get off another Intimidate on that Kanga so it's not doing much of anything. Dark Pulse hitting Smeargle. Almost takes it out. Double Edge gets the crit and takes out Gothitelle, unfortunately. Lowers the attack again. And Dark Void does put Salamence to sleep. But now that's an easy, uh, easy Abomin' Snow come in to take out both of these guys. And Salamence can kind of just, uh, hang out. Hang out and maybe wake up someday. Um, I think Draco Meteor is our best choice on Smeargle. So Kangaskhan is returning. Bomb of Snow is getting big. Blizzard doesn't do much to Rotom. Does take out Smeargle. Um, now the nice thing is we are still in the Trick Room. So we can, uh, we can either switch out of this Bomb of Snow. Or we can try and do something else here. Alright, so... What we're going to want to do is take care of this Gengar. Gengar. But I'm going to protect with a Bomb of Snow. And we're going for Draco on Rotom Heat. Just kind of make sure he's not doing any shenanigans. Okay, so we got a Still Sleep and a Sub with the Gengar. Thunderbolt hits Salamence. Sorry, I looked away for a second. So it's just going over everything that happened. Um, I'm going to Blizzard... And I'm going to Draco again on the Rotom. And... From here... Blizzard hits both of them, fades the sub. Thunderbolt will take out Salamence. Sludge Bomb does quite a bit to Obama Snow. Um, and Trick Room stays around, right? 
Trick Room is gone now, unfortunately. So this isn't looking good for us. But here comes Conk. Who is asleep still? I'm gonna have to watch for that smear goal next time. I have to double up on it. Um, so I'm gonna Blizzard again. Hope for the best. Detect, even though we won't wake up. So Sludge Bomb does take us out, and Thunderbolt uh, hurts us quite a bit. Quite a bit. So at this point, I'm just gonna Drain Punch. Uh, we are we are basically done for here with a uh, Mega Kanga in the back and us being asleep. And that will be game one to I Poke Shuckles. So uh, I will be right back with round two. And we'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, we are back with round two. So this time we want to make sure we're watching that Samirgle. Making sure he's not getting up stuff that we don't want him to. Um... And again, be sure to go check out iPoke Shuckles. Really good YouTuber. Great stuff. Um, hmm, hmm. Should we lead Goth a tell again? Or nah? Or nah? Um, I'm going to lead Goth Conk this time. Obama Snow, do we need? Do we need Obama Snow? Even though this is a hail team, it's more of a trick room team. Because you can't really run hail without Trick Room. You can, but it's not its not optimal. Optimal. Um, let me think. Let me think. Salamence. Salamence. Rotom. This guy. Zapdos. Zapdos. Empower Fighting. I'm going to bring Zapdos. I'm going to bring Agron. Let's see how this works out. We did no sun for one of the battles last time. Let's do no sun again. So I am going to try... Oh, he's going to fake out with Kanga. Let's just double protect this turn. Protect. Detect. And there's the fake out. Does nothing. There's the dark void. Does nothing. And we get the burn off with the conk. The conk a conk Alright, so now we're going to Trick Room, and we're going to Mock Punch on the Kanga. Hopefully get him down to a point. He's going to King Shield. Trying to be cheeky, are we? So there's a Double Edge. That is going to do a ton to our Conk, but it'll also do a ton to that Kanga. And we do live through the burn. So what's going to happen here is Psy Shock on Kanga, Mock Punch on Smeargle. Actually, no, wait, 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 cancel, 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 cancel. Psy Shock on Kinga. Drain Punch on Smeargle. Sucker Punch, oh, okay. Okay, I see your games, Kinga. Psy Shock will take out King's Gun, though. Dark Void? Yep, Dark Void. Doesn't work! Uh, that's why I usually prefer Spore, but of course, uh, Smeargle, I mean, Dark Void hits both, so it works a little better. Um, now that Rotom is what I want to worry about first. So what I'm going to do is Dark Pulse of Smeargle, hopefully, 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 uh, flinch it. And then I'm going to head smash that Rotom, take him out one hit. Dark Pulse of Smeargle, flinch him. Nope. Dark Void. Hits both of us. Oh, quite. Hmm. Mm hmm. Now, depending on his last Pokemon, it is a Mamoswine. Mamoswine can't do much to either of us. I'm going to protect and Iron Head or Head Smash. Iron Head or Head Smash. Head Smash the Mamo. Neither of us are going to wake up, so it doesn't really matter. Um, Dark Void again, for some reason. Seeing, seeing if I was going to switch out. An Icicle Crash does miss. Does miss, even. So again, protect, Head Smash on the Mamo. Let's see here. Let's see here. Come on, wake up somebody. Yes, Agron woke up, so there's the head smash. Uh, it doesn't do enough. Dark Void going to put me back to sleep. Icicle Crash does quite a bit, uh, but we get our Citrus Berry. I mean, Icicle Crash is still going to take us out next turn, unfortunately. But I'm not too worried about Trick Room not being up right now, because of 
Um, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna Psy Shock the Smeargle, I think. Nope, nope, nope. Psy Shock the Mammo. And then Earthquake, because we're not waking up anyway. Icicle Grass misses. Dark Void, we're already asleep. And stay asleep. Okay, I see your games. But we are getting more and more of our health back with uh, with good old Aegir on here. So Earthquake. King Shield. So he could Earthquake with Mammo and take both of us out. Not bad, not bad at all. So now we are down to Zapdos. Which isn't going to be fun because that Smeargle is just going to put us to sleep. But if we can... Uh, uh, it's making me choose which spot to put him in. Zapdos, I don't think out speeds. Speed 120, speed 145, speed 139. Yeah. Yeah. So we got Hidden Power fighting to hit Mammo. Ice Char does quite a bit. Takes him out. We don't outspeed the Smeargle, though. Hmm. What does the Smeargle have for us? It has King Shield and it has Dark Void. It has Rock Slide. Okay, doesn't do that much. Woke up. Fighting. All right, does about half. Of course, the Smeargle's just getting more and more boosts with every turn. Rock slide doesn't do much. Don't flinch. Yeah. Oh. I thought it didn't flinch for a second. All right, Smeargle, I see your games. Come here. Rock slide. Oh, takes us out. Um. So, th GG to to uh, I poke chuckles, and of course. Links in the description below for his channel. Uh, no, Hail team actually didn't do that terrible. Of course, it was more of a trick room team, but that's what it's going to end up being with Hail teams. Um, yeah. That was good stuff, though. Good stuff. Uh, oh. oh. Sorry. Fun time. Yeah, sorry, I, did, I, I saw there was a, a notification on the main screen. I thought he was challenging me again. But thank you guys for joining us, and next week we will move on from weather teams, I think. I was going to try out mixing the teams together, and maybe we will, but uh, we're going to do that in the future. We've given you guys enough weather teams for now. Uh, and if you guys have suggestions for teams I should try out, be sure to uh, leave it down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.